Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. For today guys, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where your iris scanner is actually failing. So if you're getting any errors um, pertaining to your iris scanner, with, whether on the lock screen where it's indicating you should restart and even after you restart it's not working, or when you're trying to set up the feature, it's basically um, crashing. So let me just demonstrate the issue as seen here. So if you go in here, and you go into lock screen and security, and of course if you use the iris scanner, you enter your password and of course you see the iris scanner here and you hit continue you see the regular tutorial and of course if you wait the light should come on but however you're gonna see of course you get this warning or another one at the lock screen that indicates that of course it is saying um, this um, the iris scanners um, crash or iris recognition not working right um, basically I'm going to show you what to do to actually troubleshoot and to hopefully fix this issue on any Samsung Galaxy S8 or newer devices with the iris scanner. Alright guys, so in case you're seeing the error there or on the lock screen you're seeing a different error. Either error is going to read um, iris sensor is not responding, try again later or iris recognition not working, right? So it is basically a failure of the sensor that's um, happening, alright? So the first thing I want to try guys is you're going to do a restart. I know it sounds simple but that's usually one of the quickest ways to actually fix the issue. Sometimes the system just need a quick reboot. So all you gotta do is hold down the power button and just go ahead and hit restart. I don't want to do that to save time, but you do understand what I'm saying. So just go ahead and restart when you start up again. Go ahead again and try to actually um, run through again and do um, that with the sensor. Another thing you could actually do guys is to go into um, settings. You're gonna go into apps. That doesn't work. And what you're gonna do is gonna search for the iris um, scanner. We're just going to search for the iris um, sensor it will be organized alphabetically if you're not seeing it simply tap on the dots up here which is the dots in the upper right then you're going to go do um, say show system apps so some apps are actually hidden and you're going to search through the section that's i so you're going to go back down all right so you're also going to search for iris scanner and if you look through here, you notice it says iris. So you're going to tap on this. And of course, here you're going to go to storage. What you're going to do here, guys, is you're going to clear cache. Then you're going to clear data. If they do that, you're going to restart one more time. I don't want to really do that right now. So you're going to restart. And once you restart, you're going to try again. If that fails, guys, where um, clearing the cache of the iris skin um, doesn't work. One of the things you could actually try too is depending on the severity of the issue if it's just a basic and you're actually getting the light here in most cases when it's not working the light will not or the infrared light will not work but if you're able to actually um, still access the menu here in lock screen and security you can just go ahead tap on iris scan put in your password and of course what you're going to do here guys going to run back through the tutorial you're going to delete the old um, iris sensor data and of course you're going to enter the new iris scan or you're going to do a fresh iris scan because just like any other thing it can get corrupted or give issues where it's not identifying your iris or due to some changes it might have in, um, difficulty another thing that most people miss too in case the light is coming on you'll want to go ahead and clear clean your sensors if you have on a screen protector on your phone make sure that it's properly aligned that too could be an issue that's affecting the sensor itself if it's not properly aligned and the sensor is not picking up your eyes could cause said issue also make sure that the room that you're in has relatively um, good light or not too bright as in direct sunlight right or too dark where you can't see anything at all right if that doesn't work where you re-enter your um thing there you and you you do all of that another way to do it is actually boot into um, recovery and clear the cache now you're gonna clear the cache don't worry it will not delete any of your data i do not want to go back through that again but basically, I'll put a link on screen right here. It goes to a tutorial. You'll boot into recovery. Once you're in um, recovery, you're going to follow the tutorial and clear the cache. It's quite easy. All right, you can pause this video and come right back. But just in case you don't remember how to get into um, recovery mode, you're going to hold down for the um, Samsung Galaxy S8. S8 Plus is going to hold down um, power, big B button, while the phone is off. And of course, you're going to hold volume up. If you do all of that, you should let go as soon as you see the Samsung logo. Then you're going to boot into recovery mode once you're in recovery mode you're going to use volume up and down to navigate and use um, power to select so you're going to select um, wipe cache partition right and notice i said wipe cache partition and not wipe data that's totally different you're just removing cache files from your system you're going to come back and of course 
if everything goes right, the sensor should be working again as normal. Now, another thing that might be happening, guys, is that um, an antivirus, or if you're using any package installers, or disablers, I should say, and if you have such an app, I don't have one on my phone now, we're using to disable packages on your phone. I wanted to make sure they remove that and re-enable anything or undo what you did. Those things can actually cause issues. If it's um, an antivirus, you could disable or uninstall your antivirus temporarily. And of course, you're going to come back again and test after the antivirus and package disabler is removed. Now, um, another thing you can do is to check to see if it's the optimized apps that's affecting your device. So you can go to settings. I'm going to go to apps again. Now, the batch optimization might be causing issues. Right, so um, you're gonna go to um, special access once here, you're gonna be optimized battery usage, and of course, these are the apps that are all optimized. You're gonna go to um, all apps, and of course, through here, you're gonna search for the iris um, scanner, all right, or the iris sensor. All right, so once you're right here, guys, you're gonna see we have iris scanner here, it's actually um, as optimization on meaning the system is actually um, thing you can actually disable that and to test. And if you go back into battery optimization, you'll notice it's in the list of apps that's not optimized now. You can go ahead again and test the sensor. And of course, if everything um, goes well, it should um, fix it for some of you where that's happening. Now, um, another one that I can confirm that works. As soon as you're having iris scanner issues, it can also be related to camera related issues. So many times I realize that um, if I... I went to an app and that app was actually um, WhatsApp and I actually did a video calling. Although it wasn't the sensor itself, it had caused the front camera as well as the other sensor to stop work. So what I suggest you do is you go to settings, apps, right? And of course, if you know the app already, for example, WhatsApp was the last thing you use or another video calling app that uses the camera. What you can actually do is go through, you can find the app in question that's causing the issue. Like for example, um, WhatsApp. What you're gonna do is go to permissions. Once you're in um, permissions, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off access of that particular app. No, um, camera should be on, but you turn off camera. And of course, you go and test back the iris scanner or other sensors that was not working. That sometimes might trigger the um, the, the feature and cause it to be fixed. Another alternative method is to uninstall the app. So you gotta figure out which app on the phone is actually causing the sensor to actually crash. All right. Um, you could also boot into safe mode of a video and that I'll put it on screen. And then you could actually test to see which apps could be causing it. And if it's working in safe mode, it would mean that there's an app on your phone. All right. Last, you could also go in here, search for smart stay. And if smart stay is on, you can turn it off. It's now on, turn it off, right? So smart stay should be disabled. Sometimes it can cause issues. Go ahead again and test the iris scanner. Um, if all else fails, guys, you could also do a hard um, reset or you could flash your phone to an older or newer or a custom firmware. Sometimes there's bugs in the code or you could actually wait for an update, right? So if you want to learn how to flash your phone, I'll put a link right here. If you want to learn also how to um, think the, how to reset your phone, I'll also put a link down below in the description and I might also put another one on screen here. So you're going to try all of those things guys. So one of those should work for you in getting the iris sensor or the iris scanner to start working where the light would actually start up again. Remember, no one fix for these um, issues. You just have to try until you find a solution. If all this fails and your device is on a warranty, you can also return it, right? To actually get a new one or you could have a, a professional look at the camera and the sensor to make sure everything is connected and working properly all right guys brother from blog tech tips in bye until next time bye